Okay, and here I have a little doll notebook. It's a little big for the doll, but um, it works just fine. Um, I got it at a sleepover. Um, you can usually get them at party stores. Um, I don't know where this very particular one came from, but you can usually get them all over the place, dollar stores and things. Okay, and so, then yeah. I have this little thing. Um, it's sort of like those stretchy bracelets, only it's a ring. Um, and if you stretch it a little bit, it fits nicely around your doll's wrist. Um, and this one says princess on it. Okay, for this little um, pot holder, um, it fits the doll perfectly for a medium sized pot holder. Um, and it actually held a plant in it, a red-headed Irishman. Um, its scientific name was Mammillario spinosissima. I don't know. Um, but it fits perfectly for the doll, and you can put a real plant, or you can get a fake pant plant to put it in. So, yeah, there's that. Um, what goes perfectly with my, um, oven mitts is this little cookie sheet. It's perfect size for American Girl. Um, and it came with the Little Tykes cooking set, I think. I don't know, I've had it for a while. And for a little bit, we actually used it for real cooking. But then I decided, hey, it's the perfect size for American Girl, so... I just took it from our kitchen, and it fits perfectly. Um, here is a pair of yoga pants that I made, and I have a video on how to make them. Um, I don't exact, I wouldn't exactly say it's a very good video because I don't have very much good area to film in my other room. Um, so, it didn't turn out as well as I would have liked, but, um, then the, these are the ones, and they fit the doll perfectly. Um, they're a little wrinkly right now, because they've been in my bag of doll clothes that I put them in for travel. Um, and then here I have a little doll bag. Um, it's made from felt. And it has a little button right there to keep it closed, so it actually does open. And there's space inside there to put little books and things. Um, and then my friend made me these, um, or this. It's a doll MP3 player or iPod. She got the idea from my froggy stuff. Um, and I believe she used a sock for the band, like the top of a sock, because it's nice and stretchy, and two big buttons, some elastic cord, and a piece of cardboard. And that's how she made the MP3 player. Um, then... We have a doll laptop, and it's actually made out of a portable um, checkerboard. My friend also made me this. Oh. It's kind of strange to open. There we go. And it has a little Sorry drum. About that. My brother was interrupting me. Um, it has a nice little keyboard here, and it closes up like that and I think that's duct tape so that's the laptop and then um, we have a little doll fork I would have used this in my cooking with Kaya video but I couldn't find it and the reason why is I for some reason stuck it in here 
But I got this from Whole Foods, the little samples. I brought it home and washed it. So it fits. It's a little big in her hands, but it's still smaller than you could really find anywhere else. Um, a great way to get um, doll size nail polish is if you get a Halloween makeup kit. Um, it'll sometimes get with, come with little sample nail polish and sometimes you can just find them around. This is sparkly, but um, these are my nail polish. Okay, my now the last couple of things. We have, I have this shirt that my friend made me. Wait, there's a front, okay. Um, it's made out of a sparkly t-shirt that she had. Um, I think it might have come from Justice, but I'm not positive. But um, it, the little sparkles kept scraping her, so she just cut the shirt up and made this for me. Um, then I have this little gumball machine, which is in a couple of my other videos. Um, it's just one of those little poppy toys where it makes the balls bounce around. But um, it fits nicely as a miniature gumball machine for the doll. Um, then I have a little trophy. These come in packages from the dollar store. Um, this also came from my friend, as well as a gumball machine. Um, it fits nice in the doll's hands, but the um, little handles are a little thin, so if you aren't too careful, they'll crack. Um, then I have doll beret, and this fits on my doll. Let me see if I can get it on without it. There. Doll beret. Oops. There. So that's the doll beret, and this is also in a video by my froggy stuff, and that's why I made a matching bag. Um, so that's the doll beret. Then the last two things, I have a crocheted hat that I made. Um, it's got the I actually started from the bottom because I've never actually learned how to start at the top and crochet down. So I actually crocheted it backwards, but I still think it turned out nice. But it fits on her head and it stretches. Then I have a matching scarf. Um, I always make the scarves at least as long as the doll so that they have room to wrap around their neck. Like that. And so that is my doll video of how to make, how I made things and um, some of the things that my friend made me. So I hope you enjoy and if you ever have any video suggestions just let me know. the way the street looks when it's just rain there's a glow off the page